This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ramble. That's not my name. Alex Ramble. So, thought I'd just let you know that in case you weren't aware of that. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, what is it? It's Tuesday. And uh, my eye has been dripping all day. I have an eye appointment tomorrow with my, uh, ophthalmo- my, opto- my ophthalmologist. An optometrist does lenses or something. Ophthalmologist is specialty for the eyes. And I'm going to go to him tomorrow, and I'm going to tell him it's been jip, dripping like crazy, and he's going to say, you got to have that operation, you know, the one where they do a little thing there. And I'm going to tell him, well, I'm seeing the guy next week for it, and then I'll probably be off the air here for at least three days, and then I'll look like I've been punched in the face for about a week. So, anyway, i got to do that. But he'll give me the lecture tomorrow. But I wish he'd have, there was something he could give me to keep me from my eyes from tearing. Because they're tearing because of, uh, I don't think because of this necessarily. They're just tearing because of uh, something in the air. There's no allergies right now, but there's, there's something in the air. Anyway, every uh, Tuesday uh, we, uh, we have a, a, a task we have to do. And that's called going over and talking to America's uh, biggest uh, asshole. Uh, 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 well, I mean, do you think I should be introducing you that way, Phil, or does that uh, seem to bother you? What way? I uh, turned down the uh, audio. Oh, well, then you didn't hear me say. I Once a week, we talk to America's biggest asshole. Uh, well, you know, I notice that you're always crying when I come on. You know, you, you tear up. And uh, and you know it, it it gives me it gives me pleasure to see you so happy. It, it does give you pleasure. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So. You know, I see. You know, hey, every time I get on, you're 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 tearing. So uh, really, yeah, I'm tearing. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I, I thought you were America's biggest asshole. Uh. Maybe I used to be. I don't know. Oh, so I, I'm I'm stepping into those shoes now. Yeah. Um, then I called myself America's something once. I, I can't remember what it was. But. It wasn't America's sweetheart. No, it wasn't America's sweetheart. You know. But hey, uh, congratulations! I'm glad you're able to announce. And uh, well, I haven't announced it on this show yet. So oh, so okay. I probably well on I your Facebook page probably but. should announce it. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Go, go ahead. I'm, a, I'm ashamed too. How could you be ashamed? You're up against national figures. Sally Jeffy, Jesse Raphael. Je- Jeffy, Jeffy Raphael. Whatever Sally she Jeffy. is. Well, I, and, she's an old friend of mine, you know. Yes, we used, but we she's used to work a together. figure, and she had a uh, national television show. And Larry Elder is on Fox News. And he had, you know, he's. No, he's uh, not on Fox News. He doesn't have a show on Fox News. No, not a show, but he's a guest. Uh, regular, but he also has a show down in LA. He's syndicated on the Salem networks. He's yeah. the one that I think I can beat. <laughs> you don't think you can beat Larry? I mean, uh, Sally Jesse Raphael. Well, wait a minute. I think I can beat Larry Elder for one basic reason. See, I, the problem I have, as opposed to some of these people, like the guys at WMMR in uh, in uh, uh, where do you call it? In in uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> They got a radio station they're on, and Larry Elder's on a network. Sally is pretty much at home collecting Social Security, okay? But uh, the thing with Larry Elder is he's got a whole network, and he can tell people, vote for me, although the vote only counts for one twenty-fifth of the uh, of the voting, okay? Yeah. But. You but, mean a quarter of the vote. But Larry Elder just decided, I think it was yesterday, that he's running for governor of California. 
Oh which, yeah. Which so, means which means what? Uh, he's a Republican, no, and it means no. the, vo- the vote. The no, vote. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. It means one of. It means something where my chances are concerned. Uh, uh, fill me in. I don't get it. He can't be on the air. Oh. Because he's running for political office. And anybody that would carry him would have to give all the other candidates equal time. So uh, when does he announce, or has he, he already? Had, he already announced. Oh, so he's... But, so so but, he isn't going to so, have a radio program until he's through running for governor. Right, so therefore he can't shill for his... That's uh, correct. Mission. Yeah, so he's, and, uh, he's out of the... Out of, out of the, the guys in Philadelphia, are they national? I, I I never heard of them. I never heard of them either, and I don't know anybody else that's heard of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I imagine they've been on for 20 years in Philadelphia. So yeah. I imagine, you know, the people down there are quite aware. Of, what what size bar- market is that? Because you were in the number one market, the number five market. Uh, uh, it, I think it's maybe, no, it's in the number, San Francisco is the number four market. Now, but in it was, 1980. It was. No, it was, it was back five. when I was there, too. Uh, I think maybe fifth. I think it's it's. Well, wait a minute. It's it's Chicago, yeah. yeah it's, uh, Chica- it's, it's. I've worked Chicago too. Yeah. So I worked uh, San, uh, New York, number one market. Mm-hmm. Chicago, uh, the uh, uh, the number three market, and uh, the number four market, which was San Francisco. Wow. You know, uh, I never worked L.A. Uh, yeah, it's two L.A. or. No I, no, I never worked in L.A. I, I know, but is that number two? That's number two, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so uh, the, 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 that's the story of our... Uh, but anyway, so uh, the, 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 in case people don't even know what we're talking about, because we just launched into this thing, uh, mm-hmm. I've been nominated for uh, 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 being an inductee to the Radio Hall of Fame. And there are four of us. There are four of us that are are up for grabs. There. See, here here's the thing that bothers me about it. Okay, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that I don't feel good, and I'm not going to. I'm I'm going to say like everybody else, it's just simply an honor to be nominated. Okay, all right, I'll go. I'll do all that first. But secondly, uh, I just think that holding a contest to figure who's going to be inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame is a little tacky. So you think they should do it the way the sports people do? Well, the the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame says our inductees this year are going to be, and then they announce who the inductees are. There's no contest. There's no write-in and whoever gets the most votes from this and that and whatever. Yeah, I'm sure there's a nominating committee, and I'm sure whoever gets the most votes there gets nominated, and that's about what's going to happen here, too. But I just don't like it being a contest. I think that, uh, you know, all... Uh, all art should not be made into a contest. I don't like the Oscars either. I don't like the Emmys. I don't like any of those things where they 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 have a contest. If they, radio hmm? radio in its heyday had contests, you win a WMCA good guy sweatshirt. Yeah, uh, uh, and you couldn't buy them. You well, had to win it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, although Terrell Matheny well, gave just him, just in case you don't know. I mean, uh, it, when you become inducted into the uh, Radio Hall of Fame, they give you a T-shirt. So, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I think I think it's great. I think it's great that you're being recognized, and at least it's not posthumously. Uh, you know, well, uh, not yet. See, I can be nominated up to five times. Okay, yeah. uh, before I can't be nominated anymore. So, I mean, it could well be that I win it posthumously. You know, and and I don't, and believe me, if I die, I don't want it posthumous. None of the people here, by the way, are posthumous. So it, uh, they're they're all, and I don't don't know that they don't name some people without the contest uh, that are posthumous, but I don't know of that. So, you know. Uh, Well, I, congratulations. I I think it's well, well deserved. And even last year's winner in my category was, uh, was, uh, uh, What's his name? Beck, uh, Glenn Beck. Beck. Yeah. Uh, and now, uh, was he a judge or? No, 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 he... no, no, no. He was in my category. Oh, the I person who got inducted into the Hall of Fame. 
Okay, I thought the category there was like four or five categories. Yeah, there that... are about five or six categories, six categories, four of which are voted on by a group of a hundred broadcast professionals, and no then there, there and there are two where uh which is my category and i can't remember what the other category is in fact i could probably go look it up right here excuse me for my arrow going across the screen there let me see here where is it oh well it's not i'm not even here i don't have it okay well i don't know what the other category is uh but my what, category is spoken word years, what was the over 20 years uh oh they're, a, they're, the the other ones are like active Oh. Okay, uh, uh, active for 20 years, active for 10 years. I, I don't get that particularly, but it makes no sense to me. But, you know, who am I to argue that I, they, I, they nominated me and thank you very much and I'm glad. Uh, uh, you know, just the recognition of being nominated, uh, I think, is fantastic. I'd love to see you win. And, well, uh, I, I, I would love to win, too, because no matter how, much you, how many times you say, it's just a pleasure to be nominated. No, it is. And the big pleasure is winning. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. let's be honest about it. You know, none of these guys are going, hey, I'm just happy I was nominated. See you later. Okay. Yeah. No, they're all chomping at the bit. Yeah. yeah. But um, uh, I feel I'm in, uh, I, I feel I'm in about 50% good company. Uh, I like Sally Jesse. I've known I her. like Larry Elder. I, I listen, you know, I enjoy him. He's an asshole. <laughs> even, even, even black pe even black people don't like Larry Elder, okay? And, you know, if you're going to talk about con contributing to the business, to the broadcast uh, uh, art, as it were, I don't think he's contributed diddly uh, uh, fuck. Is he a civil rights attorney? I d don't think so, no. Uh, then what? Then he was the one that's a teacher. There's two black Republicans. I, I can't remember well, what he does. He 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 keeps running for stuff all the time. Uh, well, there's there's two black Republicans that. Uh, and, and here's here. By the way, I think he should be eliminated from the mix, and I'll tell you why. Because I think he just committed what I consider the biggest sin you can do. What's right? that? That's be on the air. Uh, be an on-the-air uh, radio personality and then decide to run for public office while you still have a program. I mean, he uh, has to go off during the during the race, uh, yeah. but I think it's wrong. I think it's misusing. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Bruce Hershenson, who was an L.A. Uh, uh, personality, I, I, I think it was he was television, but uh, he ran against Barbara Boxer. And I supported Bruce Hershenson. Of course. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, of course. <laughs> but, uh, he, you know, he, he was a, a personality, and I thought that he would have brought class and, uh, and, and really good leadership to... Uh, I still to feel that I've always, people always said to me, why don't you run for public office, blah, 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 blah. And I go, no, I, I, I don't believe in trading in the the uh, what can I call it the the popularity that I have on radio uh, for political office I just don't believe that that's a correct way of using that power which you've been handed there's going to be a lot of positions open in Texas because all of the uh, Texas uh, um, uh, de Democrats are now uh, uh, considered felons uh, because they uh, are uh, I guess the governor of Texas says that because they didn't show up for the vote that he's going to have them arrested well they had to do the only thing they felt they could do it was yeah, the only kind a of case of beer and go to washington well, they make a big deal out of a case of beer on the plane why not you know i mean what's was, the big deal about a case of beer i heard the charter was a hundred grand you think they could have provided beer well it could have been you know, but, uh, uh, you know, I mean, they, 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 Republicans make a big deal out of the most smallest minutiae, uh, mm. you know. And the Democrats don't. No, they yeah. don't. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say about this whole nomination thing is uh, the voting goes on on the 28th of July and goes for about a week or That's something. It's not, I cannot, you know, I can, I, I was asked a friend of mine who was on one of the nominating committee. Um, uh, what, what happens with that vote? Because it's only, it only, there are 25 votes, 
that make it up. It's only representative of one vote. It's only one twenty-fifth. Oh, oh. Okay. So, and, and the uh, other t- 24 uh, are members of the nominating committee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and I said to him, I said, well, then, I, then, then I've then i got a shot, you know, I don't, if I'm not on the air. He says, yeah, but a lot of times they go along with whatever the public says, you know. So we'll have to see. But I, you know, I just hope everybody will like, you know. Yeah. Hey, you're crying again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm welled up with enthusiasm on this yeah. thing. I and I, 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 I'll be glad when it's over. Yeah, you know, it'd be nice. If I, but what I was going to say about Sally, I've told this story a couple of times in the last couple of days. She's one of my favorite people I ever worked with. Uh, she was sassy. She was snarky, uh, and uh, and and I was working with her at WMCA. Really? And I she, didn't. Yeah, and. She used to. This was this was my second go around at WMCA, and she had a show, and it went on right after mine. Was it talk? Because yeah, I know Timothy yeah, yeah. wanted half talk. No, no, no. This was la- th- I, this was later on. This was many years later after they did that when they went all talk. Okay, okay. and uh, so anyway, it was uh, 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 she she went and did the show after me, and she would come into the studio and kind of put her stuff down and everything. It was a commercial break, and I said, "How you doing, uh, Sally?" And she said, eh, "Not, yeah, it's one of those days." I said, "What do you mean it's one of those days?" She said to me, "Listen, I know who I fucked to get into this business. Who do I fuck to get out of it?" <laughs> now, and, and, uh, and after that, yeah. I loved her, absolutely adored her because she, you know, I mean, that was Sally. It was terrific. Yeah. Now she had a TV show, but I don't remember. It's I think it was in the eighties. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Eighties, nineties. She, she she was around for quite a while. She had a very successful TV show. Yeah. Well, what was what was her shtick? Well, I mean, her shtick in the beginning was trying to do a, a, a real, he, you know, tits up uh, 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 discussion show about politics and things like that. And eventually it wound up about your husband's cheating on you, eh? You know, one of those things where every day it was a... And she didn't like it when it went that way, but it was very popular, and so she did it, you know. Yeah, it was the Maury Povich kind yeah, of... Yeah, you had Povich, and you had... Don, you had... Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, but all those people doing those those little deals. I like Povich. Povich is a great guy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's a terrific guy. So, uh, if you beat Sally Jesse Raphael, since she has a tough name, it's three first names. Uh, if if you beat her, are you going to say, "Hey, you know, I beat you"? <laughs> no, I actually. Can I say this? To be honest with you, yeah, I'm hoping she wins. Yeah, you know, she's older than I am, so she doesn't have a, many more years to relish in this honor. Okay, I still am old enough where maybe next year they can nominate me again. So yeah. if I really, if I were to vote for somebody, I would vote for her. Oh, that's very, uh, that, that's very generous. You know, and and she's a nice lady, and I think she deserves it. You know. Yeah. But you uh, know what? I think you deserve. It. Uh, well, I think oh, that you've I, been, uh, uh, you know, with uh, all the things that you've done in radio. And, you know, the early pioneer of uh, TV on, uh, on the Internet and things like that, I, I really think that uh, it's, it's your time. Well, all the things I've done in radio, like getting late, getting free stuff. Uh, let me see, what else did I do in radio? <laughs> you know, I was going to ask you about that. When, yeah. when you were on radio, you always had something to do. There, there was, you know, like every after the show, yeah, I would always have something the next morning to talk about. Yeah, and now and I not, don't have anything to talk about. Not only that, I mean, you, you always got invited somewhere, or you, you you went and you did something that was interesting. I mean, you you slept me with you a couple of times, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I really enjoyed those days. Yeah, well, I mean, they were great days. You know, it was a great day of privilege as well. You know, it was. It was it was it was good, um, but uh, well, we're talking to our lawyers again. They're getting ready to do this whole thing again, 
and yeah. uh, I don't know how it's going to go, but my opinion is, do you have a couch? <laughs> yeah, I've used yours. <laughs> yeah, I may have to use yours. I don't know. You know, this whole it, thing it, is... it's a pullout. <laughs> no, this whole thing is getting to me. It's really getting to me. You know, I, you know they, w they try to wear you down. Um, well, and, I think then, all... and then my lawyer yesterday is saying, well, you know, like, what do you want and what are you willing to take? He said, well, you, you know, we, it, we, it'd be nice if we could just negotiate this thing out and, and get, get rid of it. And I said, we want, we, want a, uh, we want a rent-stabilized uh, apartment in our name. And that's it. And forgiveness of all past uh, uh, rent. rent and stuff, which is, you know. And what? And uh, had you said anything? And, about and I, he he said to me. He said to me. He said, you know, you, well, you guys have saved the money every month that you would have paid in rent, haven't you? Uh, and sure. we went, no, we haven't. And then no. I wrote him after it was all over and said, you probably wonder why I don't have any money. It's because we paid you a hundred thousand dollars in the last eight years. That's right. All that money that would have been rent went it's to went to it? went to your your bill. You know. Last time you said something, it was like approaching 50 no it's up to it's almost a hundred thousand now wow it will go over a hundred thousand before we're through with this thing if we're through with this thing yeah you know i mean uh, it just it just goes on and on and on and all of a sudden it's not as oh you've got it made kind of thing anymore in the beginning it was like you know it's it's illusionary illusory uh, tenancy blah 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 and, and uh, uh, I think you got a really good case against them. And now it's kind of like, well, you know, he could claim that he didn't know what he was doing because his, his, his rental agent, blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking, Ignorant. hey, uh, all I want you to do is go in there and kill them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ignorance is, is not an excuse. Uh, it you know, shouldn't I, be an excuse. You know, you know, broke the law. They didn't break the law. Well, he's afraid that this judge is kind of prejudiced towards uh, towards our landlord because he was a basket famous basketball player. You know? Oh, not uh, not so famous, folks, that any of you have ever heard of him. Well, but, he was a, a venture, huh? Huh? They did, uh, I think, one year at the uh, at the Knicks and, and about uh, two years at the Jets, and that was it. You know. Well, uh, are, are the Jets basketball or football? I know Jets, not Jets. Something the Nets, Nets. New York Nets. Okay, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, he played. Yeah, I, I at least I at least knew when I was a kid that Joe Namath was a Jet. You know, I'm and I'm trying to go. Yeah, he's famous, but you know, Alex Bennett. If you ask people in New York about Alex Bennett, some people do know who he is, and they better vote for him. <laughs> you know, so. but uh, anyway. uh, you know, they, they attorneys. I hate attorneys. I just uh, I just hate the whole process. I hate the whole process. It's eaten up about a hundred thousand dollars of of Marjorie's money. Marjorie's been putting it out, yeah. and uh, it just irritates the hell out of me. And and we would like to get that back, but he says, "Hey, you're probably not going to just get this thing settled, get your lease, get the dent, and you know." He said, well, "We could we could we could fight this thing all the way, and then mm -hmm. uh, there'll be somebody who loses, and whoever loses is is going to appeal it, and then the appeal is going to cost a fortune." Yeah, exactly. And I'm going, you know, the whole legal system is not on the side of of the of the small guy who gets sued. You got to remember, this whole situation was a situation we never asked for. We never did anything to create it. You know, it just happened. You know, I always said in America, the justice system is how much justice can you afford? Well, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have you know. no question in my mind about that. But, I mean, what I find just wrong about the whole thing is yeah. that, that um, uh, we have to spend... We did nothing, right? We did absolutely nothing. And we were dragged, kicking and screaming into this problem. You know, we didn't do anything wrong. If we did anything wrong is that we trusted the guy that we released the place from. Well, he you misrepresented, uh, you know, himself to be the landlord. Yeah, he certainly did. But you know, uh, uh, but he's a basketball player, and the the, uh, the judges probably loves that part of it. You know, uh, you know, I I don't know. I I, I got to believe that judges are a little. Listen, less... I'm looking for how, homes to buy up in uh, up in uh, Sullivan County. To, you know, yeah. I'm just, because I, I I just don't know how this thing's going to play out. 
to uh, be honest well, with you. Well, uh, I grew up uh, north of uh, in the northern Westchester, mm-hmm. just south of the Putnam County line. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful area, and I don't think it's that expensive. Yeah, yeah. But, well, you yeah. know, I mean, well, no, all all houses outside of the city now are yeah. expensive because well, they're, everybody wants one now. Everybody wants to work from home, and if they're going to work from home, they don't want to work from New York City. Oh, you blame them? I no, mean, not yeah. at all. So if you go to any of these places looking for a house, the real estate uh, uh, costs have just gone <laughs> sky uh, high. Yeah, well, I heard that there's uh, that the price of rentals in uh, New York City has gone down. I know it has in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, because those are two of the highest places in the nation, including, I think, Honolulu. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a crazy market. I mean, uh, they're they're building a house. I, a friend of mine is building eight places uh, near my store. Mm-hmm. And I verbally committed for one of them. He doesn't even have a price yet. So uh, he says because it has, it has to get... Uh, set by the Department of Real Estate uh, before he can, uh, the bank will say what yeah. The value. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but I'm, uh, you know, I've been renting for a few years now, probably five, six years. Uh, I'm I'm ready to to own another place. Well, uh, you know, the the cost of it is just a, a, extraordinary. Well, uh, yeah. if you have uh, a. Um, a uh, VA uh, loan that you could get at 100% uh, at, at a fairly low interest rate because you're a veteran and you never used your VA loan. You're right about that. You're right so, about that. But, yeah. but you know, um, uh, Marjorie also has this house, this condo but here. A VA which, loan doesn't which she, count. Which she, no, which she could get rid of, and we could use that as a down payment or pay yeah, for most of it. Huh? She gets income from that. Uh, the, you it, don't, but yeah, you, but you know, I mean, how long are you going to get income from it? I mean, she gets maybe you know a couple thousand dollars a month. You know, yeah. it, uh, uh, but what if we could sell it tomorrow for four hundred thousand dollars, and take that money and then apply it to buying a home somewhere else? Then you don't get the two thousand dollars a month income. Yes, uh, but you know, it, it, I would, way, I would way, way one against the other. You know, yeah, I mean, how long are we going to live where we need that income coming in? Yeah, you know, plus, the- plus, she, it's a condo, so she pays a thousand a month just in condo fees and stuff like uh, that. So yeah, oh, so she's maybe not she, netting. She's not netting the two grand. No, she's not netting the two grand. No. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, then you know that makes sense. But talk to your business manager, and, and you know he'll. he'll well, be able all to- I know is that uh, keep your couch ready. <laughs> I, mean, I may need it, you know. Yeah. I mean, hey, I don't, uh, I don't want to go anywhere because I just don't want to move. I don't blame you. I, you know, I, I look around my little office here, and I, and I'm thinking, you know, how am I going to move all this crap? And and where did I accumulate all of this stuff? I mean, I, I got uh, recorders, I got cameras, I got bullets. I, you're like, I, you're, you're like, uh, life is like this giant snowball. Yeah. As it's rolling downhill, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And so when finally you just, I remember when I went from um, my job in Sacramento, California, to my job in Houston, Texas, mm-hmm. everything I owned was in the back seat and the trunk of my car. When, when, I, uh, when I got divorced in 2003, I took a pillow, a sheet, and some underwear. Yeah. And- <laughs> and yeah. and it, it morphed into all of this stuff. My how times have changed. Yeah. Anyway, I guess oh, it's, uh, I'm on black. You're on black. I tr- well, I don't. Mine isn't black. Mine. No, the hardest one you have is blue. Yeah. I actually had to uh, buy this uh, as a as a uh, as another uh, thing. Too, the, but, I find the blue is too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after a while, it gets soft. It's it, it's it's not as hard as you as you exercise. I, I know that feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what time is it here? Uh, it's time for us to go. All right. Okay. Well, I uh, I, I am glad that we got together. By the way, I have to go to Denver on uh, the nineteenth. Mm-hmm. So your next show is the uh, uh, the twentieth, right? 
What? When, when do you have to go? Uh, the 19th. Monday the 19th. Yeah. And I'll be there through Wednesday uh, the uh, yeah, 21st. 21st. Yeah, well, you could call me and we could do this from there, you know. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll bring my iPad. Yeah, and... something like that. Anyway, we'll uh, talk to you later. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll test it, though, from on Monday. Yeah, let's do uh, that. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. I think that would, right. be, that would be very good and uh, appropriate. Okay? Are we, Ladies and right. gentlemen, there he goes. That's uh, that's our, our good friend, uh, Phil Meyer. Phil Meyer. Goodbye, <laughs> Phil. Anyway, um, let me see here. I just, boy, that, that went fast. Oh, I see. I didn't do the transition right. I see. I've got there. We go. See, I always see. And then I would go like that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, welcome back, uh, and uh, now I guess it's time to go to the people on the panel, which there aren't any. I notice that Charlie isn't here. I think he may be doing his his uh, um, refereeing or umpiring or whatever he does with, base, with softball. But anyway, let me admit whoever wants to get on here tonight. Uh, as and oh. we have uh, we have uh, oh we have Brian Neary and we have. Uh, Let's see here. We have uh, uh, Alan, and we have uh, Trucker Steve. Hi. Hello, Trucker Steve. How are you feeling today? Huh? Feeling better? Yeah. Do you find that actually you're feeling much better than you were feeling because you were feeling terrible? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel fine. Yeah, good, good. And, uh, did, did Charlie Charlie have the night off? Did he ask permission? No, well, I think I, th you know, I think we're going to see him not be here on some nights because he he has uh, he has his baseball, oh, baseball. thing. You know? ah. so I, I have to do this because my eye is just trash tonight, and and I, it's it's not allergies. It's something in this apartment, and I can't figure out what the hell it is. You know, who's the owner? Marjorie? Huh? Marjorie? Yeah, it could be, yeah, I could be allergic to Marjorie. That's possible. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I had a, my ex-wife, Ronnie, um, when, when we were married, uh, she got a terrible rashes. And she went to a uh, dermatologist or whatever, and he figured the whole thing out. She was allergic to me. What it was is in those days I was using colognes, and whatever cologne I was using, she was allergic to. Mm. So that's when I stopped using colognes altogether. Yeah, we, we had, I had a fifth grade teacher that was allergic to perfume, yeah. something in the perfumes. Yeah. And so, yeah, so she'd tell everybody, don't wear that stuff. And Yeah, well, what happened is I stopped doing aftershave because in case women who are listening don't know why guys use aftershave it isn't because we like to smell like high karate uh, but it's because uh, it, it, our face stings from shaving and to get the sting out you use an aftershave well there are a couple of other things you can do rather than aftershave and the one I do is because I'm taking a shower usually when I shave is that I just run my face under the hot water and that takes the sting out and you don't have to. I've also used alcohol on occasion when I didn't have something else. But, you know, I somebody should have come out with an odorless uh, aftershave. Do they have that at all? It's called the alcohol. It was called alcohol, yeah. I, I shave and then I hop in the shower and that does the trick. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Right. And, but yeah, I, I, I got to the point I couldn't stand uh, using aftershave. I mean, I used an aftershave that my father, my father always used uh, Old Spice. Oh, so horrible. I got used to Old Spice. You know, he said oh. it was a, uh, he said it was the best smell for the cheapest price. That and Brute. Well, you got, I think Old Spice actually smelled better. I mean, if you Oh, gotta, I think so too. You know. Remember Avon? Avon had the little cars and stuff like that, and you twist the back end, and there was the cologne in there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, well, I've, I've never, no big. I've never been into that, really big time. So, uh, you know, I, uh, Phil mentioned on your show that he believes that uh, the judges and the court systems are right. 
The only trouble is he doesn't believe that they're right about the... the Wait a minute, what's all uh, that noise? Not me. Not I. Uh, 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 what, what, were we, what were you saying there? Uh, I, I'm sorry. We're, we're go getting, go back to what you were saying. I was trying to... I was saying that Phil believes in, in the courts and stuff, and except for when it comes to the big lie. You know, but then the Supreme Court can't be right when they uh, have told Trump that everything's right and you have no case. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I'd have to have Phil here to either defend himself or say he either agrees or disagrees with that. Well, he said, yeah, well, okay. You know. Uh, but no, I mean, we we're just talking about courts in general and when it comes to civil actions like the thing I'm going through. Oh, okay. and, and And how much it winds up costing us just to defend ourselves and we didn't even do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. you know, well, after you win your case, then you sue the lawyer. I don't know that we're going to win our case. I have my doubts, you know, at this point. You don't want to couch at his place, though. Uh, no, no, no. I was kidding about that. Although I, I have a big place. You can stay well, then on I'll my come couch stay, I'll come days, stay at your place. And I'll, you I'll alternate. I'll go to your place, and then I'll go over to Phil's place. How's that? To Brian's place. Brian, I'll be happy to... Do uh, you have a guest room? Sure. Oh, yeah. okay. Good. Both of us do. Good. Yeah, i got a guest room here if anybody ever wants to use it. Um, Although you might be kicked out in the middle of your stay, but... Mm -hmm. The landlord may take it back over or something. Yeah, well, uh, it isn't the landlord that we're fighting. It's this, no. it's this guy that leased us the place. You know, it's just, it's just gone on. It's in its eighth year, okay? Wow. It's in its eighth year. And he could, he could have settled, or isn't there something he could have settled with, like before all this, or? We, we, we came out with all kinds of plans that were very d easy, but he wants, I think he thinks he's going to get a big payday out of the landlords. And uh, he's um, saying, I'll walk away for $300,000. Well, dream on, you know. I mean, uh, so it, it, that's a problem. It's a real problem. And, uh, you know, he's the fly in the ointment. The landlords aren't the fly in the arm. The fly, landlords are ready tomorrow to give us a, a, a lease at a, mm. at a rent stabilized price, you know. Um, but uh, it's this guy that just keeps doing it and doing it and costing us money by, by oh, I, he I think <laughs> once appealed to the judge uh, to uh, grant him uh, the case without a trial or anything like that. And so we had to file on why he shouldn't, and that went on for a while, and that cost us another twenty grand. You know, he just he's he just cheaper been... to hire Tony Soprano. You, you, you're absolutely right. You know, but uh, uh, we're, I mean, I just you know, I just I'm, I'm I'm getting very depressed about this whole thing. I didn't want to talk about it. You know, it used to be when I first went to this lawyer, he just said to me, "Yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, illusory tenancy, mm -hmm. and and uh, you got a real good case here." And all of a sudden, it's kind of diminished itself as we've gone along. You know, to where he's going. Well, you know, we're gonna, have, you know, you you don't always get what you want. You sometimes sometimes you just gotta settle. You know, well. What do you want? We said, well, the, the least we want is we want a, a, a lease in our name at a rent-stabilized price. And he said, okay. And we'll, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. I think it's very reasonable. Yeah. Uh, this guy wants his apartment back, but he also wants, but he, he rather than the apartment back, he'll walk away for $300,000. And I don't know, you know, I mean, this is the, did he, he do this whole thing as a business proposition? You know, why is it worth $300,000 to him? You know, I, I just, I don't get any of it. To get you to move out for 300000 To get me to move out for 300000 no. Is that no, what he's no. offering? No. No. No, no he wants 300000 from the landlord. The middleman, right? Oh, the lawyer. No. No, 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 the middle, the middleman who leased the, it. The guy who leased the apartment to us. 
Right. Oh. We didn't have the right to lease us an apartment. He had a right to do a sublet, but he <clears> didn't. Sub, we never signed a sublet, you know, and it had none of the earmarks of being a sublet. Sublets are two years. This was a three year lease where we mm. signed on as tenants and he signed on as landlord. Okay. Uh, and then all of a sudden the landlord said, hey, you know, you're, le you're leasing this place out illegally and blah, 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 blah. And set the whole thing in motion. So I don't want to go into it again, but it, it just goes on and on and on. And we did nothing. All we did was rent an apartment, you know? And all of a sudden we're sitting there defending ourselves because then he decides to sue the uh, landlord, okay, and sue us. So now we got to defend ourselves by counter suing, and this has been going on for eight years. But but you haven't been paying rent though for eight years. No, right? but we have paid out a hundred thousand dollars in legal right. fees. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that that's your rent right there. You right. Know? Yeah. How many years? How many? Years? About eight years. You know, yeah. we figured we figured it, it, we paid out about uh, 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 over a thousand dollars a month. Okay over that time in legal fees. So, you know, I mean, uh, and we would have been happy to pay rent all that time at a, a rent stabilized price. Could have been settled the day this thing started. Mm -hmm. If this guy wasn't greedy and trying to, you know, play a game. And it, it just, it's just a... He hasn't broke any laws, like oh, any, you oh, know, he, like... He broke a law. He, I think he'd be, he definitely broke a law. You can't rent an apartment that you're renting yeah. right sublet yeah, you can sublet, sublet it, yeah but you but can't not, rent not, it right. and to, and to be a sublet it can't be more than two years he can't charge you more for rent than he's currently paying for rent okay <laughs> we, meanwhile we got a three-year oh we God. got a three-year lease right a three-year lease uh, at uh, at double what he was paying for rent. And Tell he, me he, he wasn't doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he can't uh, he he can't sublease either unless he's got an agreement with the landlord. Well, he has to have an agreement with the landlord right. too in in his lease. So. Yeah, yeah, and I think he had a had an agreement that he could he could sublet it. Oh, okay. But that wasn't what we were given. I mean, sublets have certain caveats. They have to be two years, and no more than two years, and they have to be, and and then you can renew it for another two years. But it can only be for a two-year period, and you can't be charging more than you're already paying for rent yourself, unless there's furniture involved, in which you can charge ten percent over that. And that's that's a sublet. We didn't get a sublet. Okay, plain and simple. You know, but all I'm saying is, we didn't ask for any of this. We just wanted to rent an apartment, okay? And all of a sudden, we're in the middle of this whole thing. Where does the guy live? In New York? Uh, I think he lives. Uh, he lives outside of New York. Yeah. Oh, uh, so the explosive material would be easier then. The what? Explosive material would be easier. What do you mean the explosive material? His house could blow up accidentally. No, no, no. Don't say things like that. You know. I wish him only the best. <laughs> um, you know, but, I mean, it, it just, you know, it just, it gets to me. It, it gets to me after all these years, you know. And you say, well, you didn't have to pay for rent. Okay, I didn't have to pay for rent. And it's probably going to be forgiven, you know. But it, that's not the point. I wish I had been paying for rent for the last, at a rent stabilized price for the past uh, past eight years, uh, and that I could sleep at night. You know, but this thing goes on and on and on and on, and it, it, with no end in sight. <laughs> it, you know, maybe it'd be it's easier if I came and stayed with Jeff, he, he lives closer to me. It's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. You can uh, come over here tomorrow morning. Yeah, right. Hmm. Well, I almost, I almost answer. moved out. I almost moved out last night because I, I was worried about this. So, you, of course, your mind is whirling around a little bit, and then I'm trying to fall asleep, 
And <clears throat> guess who's snoring up a rip roar and snorting? <clears throat> Her. She says, mm -hmm. well, all you have to do is, like, pull the pillow out from under me. You don't have to wake me up. And I went, I've done that. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I can pull the pillow out from underneath you, and within two minutes, you're back to sawing wood. Mm -hmm. So I had to go into the guest room and sleep. I couldn't take it. A pillow over her face won't stop the noise? <laughs> Permanent, permanently, yes. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want that. No, we don't want she's, that. She's paying the lawyer bills right now. <clears throat> yes, yes. So, hmm. you know. But, uh, so anyway, um, um, I, I mentioned it already to Phil, so you probably heard it. I, you know, I have been uh, nominated for uh, induction into the uh, Radio Hall of Fame, the National Radio Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Yay! And yeah, we'll ask all of you to vote later this month. Can we vote? I, so, oh yes, I'll get six votes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know if you if you win this thing, you're gonna have to change your uh, your saying on uh, your Facebook profile. You'll say now I'm somebody again. No, I don't think I'd be somebody again if that happened. I mean, I, um, I I just think you know I'd have my picture or something in the Hall of Fame, and you know that, that'd be. You get to put your fingerprints or toes into a no, piece of that, concrete. No, there's nothing like that. Nothing like that. Okay. No. Um, you get a new T-shirt, right? What? You get a free T-shirt. A free T-shirt. Yeah. No. That's right. Uh, actually, I, actually, I, you know, we I have what I have to do is if I win, I have to go to Chicago. Uh, for the induction, so, mm. and that could cost me my life. Okay, the way things are going in Chicago. Yeah. Who uh, gets to vote on that? Do you have to be like a member or something? Well, no. Any of us. I have can to. Vote be, I've, the, I've been in radio for how many years of my life? No, I mean, I mean, but the the people that elect the electors is it anybody? Well, there's a, people can vote. Okay, like you can vote. Oh, okay. And all the votes of the people only count for 125th of the, of the vote. The other 24 are the nominating the nominators, the com nomination committee, and they decide who the final winner is. Oh. Who, who is this idiot that Bill brought up that's now, he's got a show plus he's running for governor in California? Yeah, Larry Elder. Another real winner, obviously. Yeah, An absolute. Well, I, I, I am almost bothered by him being nominated in the same breath with Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and even these two guys in Philadelphia who I never heard of. Yeah. Um, because I just think he's a horrid person and one of these people who's done nothing but use... Uh, his position on radio, not for the betterment of the industry, but for the betterment of Larry Elder. You know, but the good Sounds part like is, is now that he's running for governor, he can't be on the radio. So therefore, that he won't be able to ask people to vote for him. You know. Uh, Fox News will hire him. Any the Fox News idiot. has him on a lot. Yeah, he's really? a pundit. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's one of those stupid Republicans that'll step on anybody. To get where he wants. He's dumb as a brick, too. Yeah. I've heard him. He's not that good. You know? I mean, um, I, you know, I think, like, for instance, Sally Jesse Raphael, who is, being, who is nominated, uh, yeah. is, uh, is, is, uh, she's a class act, and she was a woman doing this business at a time when there weren't a lot of women in this mm -hmm. business. And, she's very good. huh? I said she was very good. Yeah, as a, a, on radio. People don't remember. She was on radio long before she ever did TV. And uh, she was terrific. She was just terrific. And I, I think that she certainly deserves this consideration and this nomination. Mm -hmm. But I, I, Larry Elder, I don't think he deserves it. And I don't, th I don't know. I don't know these other two guys, so I can't diss them. I just because I've never heard of them, I question why they've been nominated. You know. 
So uh, in the news today, the governor of California. He's Boy, you, do you for... change topics? You just immediately change topics. Yeah, they only pick one, Alex, of the nominees. They only pick one uh, to oh, go in? in my category. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought we were talking about governors and this guy running. So, the governor of California uh, was by a liberal judge said that he cannot put that he's a Democrat on the ballot. What? Yep. I he didn't, he I didn't, didn't understand. Uh, I don't even understand what you're saying. So Gavin Newsom is running for his job again. Yeah. And uh, most people get to put if they're Democrat or Republican. Well, he's he not running up. again. He's not running again. He's running to yeah. not be thrown out. Right. Oh. Okay. But he he's not being. He's not, ru- he's not running as a candidate. He doesn't have to run as a candidate. What John said is is correct. He, he didn't file the paperwork in time to declare that he's going to be a running as a Democrat. Right. So he's he's just running as. Well, I see. It doesn't really make any difference. He's still a Democrat. Yeah. Right. yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's he's not going to get recalled. I mean. I hope not. That this the state's in good shape, you know. I mean, yep. the economy's doing good. I mean, why would you impeach him? You know. Well, it's just because what five thousand people or something signed a petition or something. What does it, it take? Was, I think it's more than that, but they all get paid to, you know, they just hire people to just stand out in front of Safeway and collect signatures for. They, those guys get like, a, you know, a couple bucks per signature too. And and they were people. doing that. And John, they were doing that day one. Safely yeah. over here, they're doing that right when he got right when he got elected. They were starting to do it. I'm like, what the hell? He hasn't even worked one day, and you guys are already trying to recall him. Yeah, well, that, that okay. whole that whole recall situation in California is pretty terrible if you think yeah. about it. <clears throat> you know, it really there's, is terrible. There's now five dozen people on that ballot. Five dozen? That's more All than Republicans. that's more. Dozen. Is that more than the last time? Mm-hmm. There were 135, I think, the last time. Well, it's still early. <laughs> yeah, really. I think they got, I got, they I, got I got called uh, on Friday to work the election. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got I got texts from Newsom's camp already too. Well, how many dozen did you say? Five dozen. Five dozen. So that's uh, 60, right? Yeah. 60 are on the ballot right now. Oh, boy. no Democrats, all Republicans. Uh, Most uh, of them are, yeah. Well, because nobody wants to go up. I mean, a Democrat should run just to be able to assure that, you know, that maybe the Democrats are represented. But, I mean, really what this is, this has always become a Republican way of getting rid of a Democrat, okay? And not having to replace that Democrat. But you're not even going to replace him with the guy who gets the most votes. I mean... Yeah, when they called me, I, I said, why why are we having an election in September? And I totally forgot about the recall. And she goes, well, it's the recall. But I, oh, yeah, we're spending $11 billion or whatever it is on a, a, a campaign against Newsom, I, I right? think in California they should outlaw recalls. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Except for criminal reasons. Mm-hmm. Like if a governor has... A, but then again, if he if, he, if he's found guilty of something, murdering somebody, well, yeah, there's okay. reasons for it for some things, but you well, that's absolutely. but then then you can impeach him. But then you can impeach him, <clears throat> or or at least up the amount of signatures. I mean, the amount of signatures they got is point one percent of the state's population, I believe. Yeah, you know, it was ridiculous amount of you know signatures, and they like Brian was saying. They were out there the day after. They were down here in this little town that I live in, outside Knob Hill Foods, already with their clipboards. What are they? What are they saying are the odds for Newsom? Pardon? What are they saying are the odds for Newsom? Oh, he's leading in the polls. He's got like a fifty-five percent approval rating. So, gee, yeah, there's no way he's going to get re- recalled. I don't think he's going to get recalled. I mean, there's a lot of people pissed off, but who are they going to? Just like Trump, they're dwindling by the minute. Well, who's the competition they're going to put in uh, Caitlyn Jenner? Jenner? Well, let, me, Come on. let me explain to the audience out there the way this thing works in California, and it's really skeezy, mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you t- 
take somebody and you say, okay, we're going we're gonna to recall him. Now the vote is going to be to recall him. It isn't like they're going to say, okay, do you want to recall him? And then they take a vote on that. And then when they say, okay, we want to recall him, it passed. Uh, uh, that now, we, now we're going to have an election to find out who will replace him. No, it all takes place at one time. You vote whether you want the guy recalled or not recalled, and then if you want him recalled, who do you want to be the new governor? And the winner is not somebody who got 51% of the vote. It could be somebody who got 10% of the vote. I mean, what did Schwarzenegger get? There are 135 people running. How good, how large a percentage could he possibly have? Totally diluted. And usually the person who wins is like a Schwarzenegger, somebody whose name is easily recognizable. You know, so, I mean, it's really, it's a stupid, stupid thing. Uh, and they were trying to recall him right away. Let the votes handle it. The votes, you didn't have enough votes and you lost. And then they go right away trying to recall him. And who hasn't done any work and you already lost from your votes. And who was doing this? It was being led by a Republican. Of course. It's not like Probably some Democrat went like I, Trump. Yeah, what? Probably people that are aligned well, with Trump. Oh, it's pro Trump money. Money yeah. from Trump back. Yeah. Cox is right up front with it. Yep. The, yeah. well, who's right up front with it? Uh, the guy that John Cox. Cox. Yeah. John he lost. He lost to. Um, he lo he lost to uh, Newsom in the in the, the election already. Mm -hmm. So now he's trying to get recalled to get him back in. Yeah. That's the guy with the bear. Driving yeah. around with a bear, yeah. Oh man, I want to see that thing eat that. I eat yeah. cock for a well, well, there is a guy out. with there is a guy with a bear, isn't there? Bear. Yeah. He got busted for it. Yes. Oh really? Endangering a bear and bringing it out in public and all that stuff. Yeah, you can't bring a bear and a cock together. Cock. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> cock. Took it away from him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, guys, I'm yeah, go yeah. to bed now. What? I gotta get by dialysis in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, say good night. Uh, well, uh, good luck to you. You know, we're always thinking about you here. Keep coming back, Steve. Keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Bring in the buddy. Wave goodbye to Steve. Okay. Later. Uh, goodbye, take Steve. Care. Okay. Now take good reading materials with you. Yeah, yeah I watch TV. <laughs> you watch TV. Guitar. Okay. Practice the guitar. But the problem is, when uh, you get, wait, but when you're getting, get wait, but when you. When you're getting the dialysis, it's what early in the day. Yeah, it starts at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So all you've got to watch are those morning shows. It's dreadful. I mean, oh. but you, yeah. you know that your dialysis is over when the Price is Right is over. So. The <laughs> you know. view. John view. was offering to come up and teach you how to play guitar. I think. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Good luck to you, and we'll see you yes. hopefully tomorrow. See you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Care, Steve. bye. Uh, Hello. So I, let's see, we lost one person to baseball tonight, or <clears> softball <throat> tonight, and now we're losing another one to dialysis. What kind of show am I running here? Hmm. Uh, I, I guess if there's a good side to dialysis, you don't have to piss much. Yes, hmm. you do. You piss more. Because your kidneys are working. No, your kidneys are not working. That's why you're getting the dialysis to take this. No, but but he said, for instance, he's peeing better now. Oh, he is. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. You don't you pay attention to this show? No. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it keeps recalling all the shows. Yeah. I think that's the only thing Alan does. He watches the shows later. Absolutely. Yeah. He he watches the show later to find out what happened. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and then I raised my hand and wonder why yeah. nobody's answering. But anyway, I just think the whole thing in California with the recall thing has got to be done away with. It's just yeah. it's just ridiculous. You know. I mean, and who did you get last time? You got Schwarzenegger. Was he a good governor? No. no. He was he kind of mediocre, right? Just entertaining. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I never, you know, he's a staunch Republican, but I've never hated him. There's something yeah. very likable about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was a yeah. foreigner. That's true. 
Well, I think that I think part of it is how self-deprecating he is. Mm-hmm. I, I'm actually surprised that one of Trump's kids are not running in California. Well, uh, don't suggest here, and then they can. Uh, Thanks run. for suggesting it. Right. Mm. Not that anybody would be watching this show. Yeah. Uh, how oh, how, yeah, how, how is it? By the way, how's Caitlyn Jenner doing? Oh, John? Jesus, John. I don't know, but um, <laughs> I can't imagine her getting elected. She, I think her her slogan is, "I'm going to cancel cancel culture and wake the woke." <laughs> wake the woke. <laughs> He's been making speeches up in Sacramento a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a he. I thought it was a she. Well, you refer to you refer to that person as her, because that's what she wants. That that's the way she identifies herself. Unless you're in Hollister. And and there's nothing wrong with doing that because you honor somebody by calling them what they want to be called. So yeah. I have a friend that's trans, and I knew him when he was a guy, and I still call him dude. Well, I had a real problem with a trans <laughs> that I you can knew. do that. Though. I had a guy who was my producer at uh, WPLJ, the overnight show. I hired him for a couple of reasons. Number one, he was almost blind. And also, he ran a pirate radio station. And I figured this was my way of him being able to make money to build his pirate radio station and fuck with the entire system, right? So I I did it for those two reasons. And, and he was my producer for a couple of years. You know, he was always there and did a good job. And I enjoyed him. I liked him, and then I didn't. I lost track of him for many, many years, and then I think I started. Uh, where did I first start hearing from him? He used to call my radio show. Uh, it's Sirius XM, and I said, "Oh well, you know, it's really uh, good to hear from you again." And uh, he said, "You know, it's it's it." Uh, his name is Randy. Uh, I'm trying to remember his love with the last name. But he, he said, well, I've changed it to R-A-N-D-I. <laughs> I said, why? He said, well, I'm now a, a transsexual. Uh, hadn't had a sex change or anything, but transsexual. <clears throat> so I accidentally kept referring to him. I'll oh, see, there I go, as he. Mm-hmm. And he got very mad at me. Mm-hmm. And I said, you should be a little more forgiving where I'm concerned because Mm -hmm. here I am I'm doing a radio show here I hear from you for the first time in say 15 years right last time I saw you you were a guy so in in my own mind I see you as a guy Mm -hmm. I you know I said if we got together had lunch I saw you wearing the dress you know and the makeup and the wig and everything like that or whatever you know I said, then I would probably have a different way to relate to that and refer to you as she. I said, but excuse me if I make the mistake every now and then. And I really was, I was kind of, he they got very pissed at me. He stopped calling me and everything. She stopped calling me and everything. See, there I go. Uh, and and it got me a little pissed off because I, I feel that if you're going to do something like that, the job isn't our job to accommodate you. It's your job to make us feel comfortable with your new presence. Does that make sense? You know, sure. that, part, that it doesn't just suddenly come with an automatic pass. You've got to do something to engender a feeling in everybody else who you know and make it easy on them. Is, am, I, am I wrong or what? No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, pretty much. You know, but but uh, but, but I kept call. I, I I had a hard time calling Randy she because I I never knew Randy as a she. Can can you understand that? And, and it wasn't like I was sitting there in a room with this person. Uh, I was on the telephone talking to him up in Woodstock. You know, and mm. and never had a visual image. So it, 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 forgive me. You know, I don't mean to be nasty Dis- here. Disrespect. I don't. I did, mean no disrespect. Exactly. Right. Did Did she have the same voice? Pretty much. 
Yeah, so it's even harder then. Yeah, that makes it difficult. If, if you're not looking at the person, if you're just listening to the person talk. Right. I gotta say something about transsexuals. I mean, I have known several transsexuals in my lifetime. Uh, some of them absolutely, one of them absolutely gorgeous, Candy Darling, who was maybe one of the best looking. Uh, and and when, when, when Candy would walk into a room, I mean, I always thought of Candy as her because I saw this woman. And if Candy would walk into the room, I would kiss Candy hello. You know, um, I was very used to that sort of thing. Where did she pick up that name, Candy Darling? Uh, she was one of Andy Warhol's uh, superstars. Oh, there we go. Uh, and so was Jackie Curtis, who was another transsexual, but kind of a different kind of transsexual. This was a guy who would wear a dress and have a five-day growth. Okay? <laughs> so a different kind of transsexual. And then finally, Holly Woodlawn, who was uh, a very funny comedian or comedian. Uh, and uh, it was almost a parody of women. It wasn't exactly trying to be a woman. It was trying to be a parody of a woman. Uh, and uh, I knew all of them. And they all appear, by the way, in the song Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. So I knew all of them. And so I was very used to that kind of thing. You know, it didn't, didn't bother me in the least. But so that leads me to what I was about to say, which is lately I see some of these people who are on who are trans, okay, who suddenly appear on TV. They're not telling you they're trans, but you know it immediately because they're god awful ugly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, granted, there are some beautiful ones, and the beautiful ones are terrific, but there are some yeah. that. I, San Francisco's if, full of the god awful. Well, I mean, if I were a guy and I wanted to go trans, yeah, I know it's my inclination and I want to be able to do it and to pull it off and so on. But if I can't do it to a certain convincing degree without saying, my God, that's a god awful ugly woman, you know, like there was this documentary I saw uh, in which there was a woman in it uh, 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 who was a guy. Uh, and just god awful ugly and i'm going you know maybe you just want to be a guy and tell people hey i have an inclination to wear dresses occasionally when i'm when i'm living privately but you always want to look your best and you know some of these people i mean i don't know the caitlin jenner's that great looking as a drag no definitely not you know no. uh <laughs> i noticed it Kevin went, uh, uh, <laughs> you know. No. It looks uh, like uh, Bruce Jenner with long hair and tits. Yeah. And yeah. he was never anything spectacular. Well. Other than he could run. He did some bad surgery, too. Didn't he do facelifts or something? Yeah, yeah it's all. Mm. He did yeah, something. He did. Good. A little something. The same good. guy that Michael Jackson used. No, but he did it before he turned to Caitlin. He did some surgeries, his nose or something. I forget. Oh, really? I think I he did that. that. I think he did something to prevent him from growing a beard, using depilatory or something to ah. kill ah. all the all the facial hair cells. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, he's trying, but or she's trying, but. Well, I think that I'll tell you when he looks best as a as a as a trans is when he's not exactly wearing a dress and doing all that, but when he's got women's sports outfits on, you know, things like that. But Except for the bulge. Huh? Yeah. Except for the bulge. Yeah. Is there a bulge or does he tuck? I don't know. I don't know. Does he tuck? <laughs> but they got yoga pants, you know. How about um, the actress, uh, the young actress that, that became a, uh, she, she's now a, a male. What's her name? Um, you know the young uh, actress that was in uh, Hard Candy. Oh, you're, you're yeah, you're talking about uh, Juno. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, what's uh, her name? Uh, yeah, now now she changed her name and um, she's a boy now, or a man. I didn't know she did, she had had done kind of the transition. I think she has now. She's looking a lot different. What was her name? Let me, let me look this up um, here. What in the hell is her name? Wait a minute, I'll just type in Juno. It'll come right up. Um, Juno. She's a good actress. 
No, very good actress. What's she going to play now, though? A man? Oh, or very, very, very well, well, you know, uh, some people want to use the term for an actress as she's an actor. You know? Actor, yeah. Uh, wait a minute, Juno. Here's the movie, Juno. There we go. Okay, come on. Uh, it was, um, her name was Ellen Page. Yeah, now and she's... And now she's using Alan. the name, and it's listed here in... Alan Page. In, uh, I am, Alan Page? No, no, no. <laughs> Elliot Page. Elliot Page, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alan Page was the football player. <laughs> let me see. I, I, by the way, folks, what I'm looking at here is, um, is um, in case you want to you wanna see what I'm uh, talking about, um, there is uh, Elliot Page right up there. See? Right there, okay. Uh, and let me let me just type in. Um, uh, let's see here. What what uh, Elliot Page? Just maybe so we can see a picture that might be of the of Elliot as he is today. Well, it does hasn't done much of a change. There we go. You know, I mean, you you got there. There we go. It's basically you're just wearing a tie and you know a shirt and. You know, it's, not, it's it, it not not going out of his way. He, he didn't. She's still got the long hair. He's still got the long hair. Over here, I think there's you're a looking at a cap. current picture. Well, that's a that's a current picture. Here's one with a baseball cap. I find him still quite attractive, to be honest with you. You know, okay. you know. Uh, so, uh, I can, you see. I I often often had this kind of thing for people who kind of look butch you know the kind of butch look of women women who were kind of butch um, and uh, in fact I went with a woman for, for years who you know so everybody thought oh is she, is she a lesbian I went no she's not she's just a uh, you know she's a woman who's sporty that was it <laughs> Whatever. Sporty. <laughs> Sporty. Yeah. But anyway, so the, that's what you're talking about. Elliot Page. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, uh, but Jenner was never handsome, pretty, anything. A, a Jenner is as ugly as a woman and wasn't that incredible as a guy. You know. That's right. That, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. wasn't. He was no st stud as a guy, right? And he's like a piece of dirt as a woman. It, it, well, what? He's like a what? A piece of dirt. He's uglier than than mud. Well, I, 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 I you know, I think that's a little ungenerous of you to call him a piece of. Dirt. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't care well, what he is. Well, why don't you like him? I just don't like him. I don't like his personality. I didn't like him in the Kardashian series. I don't think he added anything to it. Uh, you know, okay, so he can run when he was younger. Great, he was an athlete. Should have stayed as an athlete. I forgot about everything else. Although I guess he married um, uh, Kardashian, the, the lady. She was beautiful. What, what she saw in him, I have no idea. Well, I think they had been good friends before she divorced um, Kardashian. Whatever his first name. Him or I thought he died of cancer or something. Well, like then that. he died of cancer. Yeah. Oh, okay. After. And then she, he was going with. He was married to. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember her name now. Uh, but uh, she was a TV personality, his yeah. wife, and well, I think I think he divorced her to go with. Uh, with. Well, with uh, okay. Well, Kardashian, the, the the guy, whatever his name was, was on O.J. Simpson's dream team lawyer, wasn't he? Yes, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. What, was, um, are all those girls, the Kardashian girls, his daughters? Uh, yeah. Only the the ones that are called Kardashian are all his daughters, yes. The, oh, okay. the rest of the girls are referred to as Jenners. Oh. So, uh, and they are, they are Bruce Jenner. So Bruce Jenner had had kids with Kardashians. Yeah, she, ex she had two of them. Okay. Yeah. She had two of them by him and three by uh, by by. Uh, I'm trying to remember Kardashian. Kardashian. what was Kardashian's first name. Uh, Bob. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think Robert Kardashian. I think that was yeah. it. Yeah. Robert Kardashian. Yeah. Robert Kardashian. So. Bob. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. So uh, you know. It, it, let me see here. I'm just trying to find something. So I mean, it. it I, yeah. What? I I, th I think he. Uh, you know, at the end of that OJ trial, when 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 he got off, he had a look in his face like, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. this guy really did. He. I think he knew OJ did it. And he just had this look in his face like, oh, my God, what have we done, yeah. you know? Uh, Joseph Gr Grigo has joined us. Are you there, Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Well, he, he then he disappeared. Okay. Um, he's a guy that writes me a lot, so that's why I didn't think he was a phony. Uh, but anyway, so... Uh, uh, but I, I, I just think that uh, I guess we got into Jenner. We got into Caitlyn Jenner because of the uh, of the whole running for governor thing. You know, I remember last time you had some good people there. You had uh, let's see, what's his name from Different Strokes? Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Does, is the porn actress running again this time? Mary, Mary, was her name? Mary Carey? Mary Carey. That was her yeah. name. Right. Is, she, is she running again? I don't know. I haven't seen the whole list yet. But I'm sure we can find it somewhere. I, I should look it up and we should tomorrow night go through the list and see how many of them we actually know. You know. What, what about that? The guy that was running for mayor of New York uh, with that crazy name? From mayor of New York, or the crazy name, yeah. Yeah, you know, something like Refrigerator Bob or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to remember who the who he was, because he was on the ballot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I went, what kind of name is that? You know. Yeah. Um, I'll be a Republican. Well, and then we got we have the governor's race. I think next year is it uh, here in New York. Um, Jeff, do you know what whether what? I don't know when it's coming. Um, it's not this year. Yeah. I don't think no. Twenty twenty. I think it's two thousand twenty two. Two thousand twenty two. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, uh, and and by then I think everybody will have forgotten the whole thing about Cuomo. You know, unless they come out and indict him for it or whatever. In which case, I'd still vote for him. Yeah, you liked him a lot. Well, I mean, you, I don't give a crap where he puts his hands. You know, I don't care. You know, most most of it were it weren't like grabbing people or anything. It was uh, it was simply making a comment like, "Nice dress you've got on today." Oh, and I felt terrible for the rest of my life. You know. So I mean, I just you know come up with something that uh, that, he, that he did was terrible to somebody, and I'll you know go along with it. Is he a prick? Absolutely. I hear he's a real asshole to the people who work with him, but you know he's our asshole. So, and he, I think he saved my life through mm -hmm. his actions in this state. It was pretty terrific. Pretty terrific. Mm -hmm. So, anybody do anything interesting over the weekend? Mm. Well, I came home. Because, you know, I was talking with Phil, and I just, I never do anything interesting anymore. It used to be I had a very interesting life. But I, you know, I don't, I don't, I, we, did I do anything this weekend? Not really. Same thing I do every day. Took my walk, and that was it, you mm. know. I tried to eat dinner at Zuni Cafe, but they wouldn't let us in. At the what? You know, Zuni Cafe in San Francisco. What's the Zuni Cafe? I know. I On Market. Heard. Why wouldn't they let you in? It's a famous old San Francisco restaurant. Uh, it was booked. It was so crowded. Couldn't, oh. get a, couldn't get a table. They said it's like a two-hour wait. Yeah. So I said, screw it. <laughs> and you, you couldn't make a restaurant. roast could chicken. You most famous roast chicken in the country. Yeah, oh yeah, they got great chicken. You couldn't make a, a reservation there or anything like that? Oh, well, yeah, it was a Friday night. I, I figured, I didn't think anybody was going to be out. You know, I thought, I don't know, I just, you know, 
I mean, when we over there was a lot, there was a lot of open tables, but I don't think they were, you know, they were keeping it spread out. How is the whole COVID thing in Cal in San Francisco Bay Area now? Is it is it uh, pretty good? Um, pretty good. You know, everybody got vaccinated pretty much, and um, I mean, the, at first it was hard to get a shot, but after a while, I mean, you could just walk down the street and there was people, have, you know, on the corner giving out shots. It wasn't always a COVID shot in San Yeah, that's true, probably. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the thing is that, that, that I love these people who say, it's my body and I'll do with it what I want to. Yeah, but it's also my body and I don't want to get sick from your body, you asshole. That's right. Exactly. You know? Very selfish not Very to. Very selfish not to. Well, I said that the, tonight that they said that since June 15th, it's gone from 0.2% to 2.7% from that yeah. Delta that yeah, Delta two, variant. Where? In California. California. Oh, yeah, really? 2.3, uh, like on uh, last week, Friday. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's people that area. say, I, I don't like what it will, it might do things to my body. Yeah, but uh, do you know what COVID does to your body? Kills you. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some lady tonight. Uh, she was in uh, Missouri, and she was on, I think, CNN or something. And she was anti-viral, anti-vax, uh, yeah. and you wanted nothing to do with it, nothing to do with it. And her mom ended up in the hospital. She's been on a ventilator for like three months or something, sick yeah. as a dog. And she finally said, you know, I'm going to get, she got her vaccination. And I'm sitting there watching this woman, and she's talking about how she didn't understand how the vaccine was, you know, going to hurt her, and she didn't think it was right, and all this stuff. And I'm looking at her, and she's got that orange hair i'm going you know you're putting colored dyes all over your hair that get into your brain <laughs> you're worried about a vaccine is that what happened to trump the colored dyes Missouri, you know it was it was that red orange it, hair yeah. Yeah, but also wow. how many going, how many sit people? there and get chemicals put on your head for four and a half hours yeah. But you're worried about a vaccine. Well, how many people have had the vaccine so far? Something like 300 million, something like that. Yeah, and they're not dropping dead. And they're not all no. dropping dead, and we're not growing arms out of our foreheads. My 16-year-old daughter said the same thing this morning. She's watching the news, and she's going, what's wrong with these people? Nobody's dropping dead. <laughs> and I said, oh, well, you know, at least you're seeing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I never, I can't, I don't understand the thinking on this. It it's, just doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, we, we had a guy fix our, our garage door, the spring broke, and the guy showed up with a mask on, and I thought he was just trying to be considerate. I said, well, we've been vaccinated, you know, you know, I'm sure you have. He said, oh, no. And I'm like, well. I talked to a guy who were, it was driving me in a, in a car, in a lift car, who, who said that he hadn't gotten vaccinated, and his other job was he works in a hospital. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's, hey, listen, the way I look at it, all these people who aren't getting vaccinated are Republicans. Okay? Yep. A few less Natural of them. Select. A few. If they don't, if, if, the, if, if the party wants to see their voters die off, that's fine with us Democrats. There'll be more votes for us. Okay? Absolutely. All right. Anyway. Hey, listen, Brian, good talking to you tonight. Good talking to you, Alan. Always nice having you here, Jeff. Uh, and uh, Mr. Larkin, thank you, or Larky, as he's now calling himself, and of course, uh, Kevin, you're my you're my friend. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for being here tonight. And we'll see you again tomorrow night, hopefully. Wave goodbye. Exactly. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. We'll get another one going again tomorrow night. Uh, Jack Bishop with the intersection is next. Uh, over most of the same. I'm trying to keep from sneezing. Uh, 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 over the, the over this same station, uh, he'll be doing a citizen panel just like we do. Only he'll be using Skype with the address of Gabnet Live. Okay. See you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. And by the way, if you get Get a chance. Get that needle in your arm and call, and call it macaroni. We'll see you later. Bye.